Can you smell that? Yes, it's the smell of supersonic air travel. You may or may not know that supersonic air travel existed even before uh, with the aircraft called as Concorde. But due to some safety issues and the uh, lack of fuel efficiency, the service was shut down at around 2003. Uh, did you ever see an aircraft with afterburners? No, definitely not because it just throws a lot of fuel into the air just like that and fuel is money. You just do not want to spend thousands of dollars. Uh, uh, actually, I would like to call it you do not want to burn thousands of dollars into in the air uh, just to save uh, some time, do we? No, definitely not. And airliners weren't making much profits from that because this seat, one seat uh, of Concord uh, will cost you around twelve thousand dollars, and uh, where you, which uh, from where you can easily book a first class ticket. And you also might have saw the seating arrangement of the Concord is very cramped, uh, isn't it? So finally, we have a good news from United Airlines. And nowadays we have a lot of good news from United Airlines, don't we? So hello guys and welcome back to our channel. I am Aviation Gamers. Today we are gonna look into a very exciting news about the return of supersonic air travel. Let's get right into the video. Getting into the video, we can see United has ordered up to 15 boom aircraft with an option of 35 more. United wants to be the first US airline to go supersonic. The most likely routes, at least for now what we know, will be transatlantic or transpacific. The uh, same issues faced with overland supersonic flights and sonic booms to remain. We also expect the aircraft to fly from New York to London in just three and a half hours and to Frankfurt just four hours. Coming to Trans-Pacific, it is expected to travel from San Francisco to Tokyo in just six hours. The Boom Overture will be a premium aircraft with 65 to 88 seats capable of reaching Mach 1.5. It will offer a range of up to 4,250 nautical miles or 7,870 kilometers. This aircraft is the first planned net zero carbon and this is the part of a piece from United. It is a jet aircraft able to reach supersonic speed without the use of afterburners unlike the less efficient Concorde. Boom hopes it will be taken out in 2025 and will take off for the first time in 2026. It could then enter the service by 2029. Now that fellow firm Arian has ceased operation, Boom appears at furthest ahead of several companies working on supersonic aircraft. United Airlines is the first US airline to order the Boom Overture jet, but other airlines have also expressed interest or made pre-orders. According to a 2017 report by Flight Global, there were then commitments from Flight 5 Airlines to buy 76 aircraft. This includes Virgin Atlantic and Japan Airlines, though that was a little information given by me. Uh, you can definitely check out the information given by United Airlines and Boom Overture from their Insta pages. Uh, this news came out a couple of days ago. So that's all in this video. I hope you enjoyed it. It was a short video on this top. So if you did, click the like button. If you are new around here, definitely don't forget to click the subscribe button. I'll see you in the next video. Till then, thanks for watching.